Here we go. Brighton, New York. Pulled over by a Brighton cop, Cruiser 772. How we doing? Call your supervisor, call your chief. Is Henderson in? I'm not chief for what? Yeah, I'm do you know who I am? Yeah. Okay, call your chief because I'm not talking to you, so I'm gonna shut it down. But I need your license and I'm not giving you, you nothing. I'm not giving you nothing. What do you mean you're not giving me? I'm not you're, giving you you're nothing. Being detained for a traffic you profile stop. me. You're going 60 miles per you hour. You profile me. Call your chief right now. I'm not calling my chief. I need your license. I'm not giving you my license. I'm asking you to call your chief. What, is the saying in? Is the saying in? My chief does what not superiors respond to are in? Messages. What superiors are in? Who's the sergeant? Gutka? What sergeant is in? I need your license. Your I'm not giving you my license. Wagner. Call Wagner. Call Wagner and tell him that you pulled Davy V over with his kids on my way to the school. Prove it. Where's the tape? I don't have tape. I don't believe a word you guys say. How do you pronounce your last name? Cicery. What's your badge number? I don't, we, don't have, we don't go by badge number. What's your IBM number? 72075. I still need your call you, your supervisor. You, you don't have the right to refuse. Call your supervisor. I do. I do when I'm being harassed. I do when I'm being harassed. What am I being stopped for? Because I'm with because I'm with my family in a 35. Don't yell at me, bro. I'm recording this. I don't care if you're recording it. You need your license and your registration. Then step out of the vehicle and come back there, and I'll ID you that way. I don't have to come back there. You already ID me. You know who I am. I'm asking. I don't know your name. I'm asking Peter for Bird. a superior. I don't know your I've name. I've asked you Peter several Bird. times for a superior. We, That's all I'm I asking. Just, I'm not trying maybe, to be a hard ass with you. Sure. I asked you several you. times for a superior. No, you what? get on the horn and you tell them that you stopped Davy V, what does Davy that Vara, and I'm on. It, it matters a lot with the Why? history. It matters a lot. Call your superior. I'm not going to tell you again. I have mean, have I ever met you before? Nope. Never. Never in my life. Two things. I, I video recorded you at one point. And be beat man about it, you know, you know I did. Oh, over at Holy some. Yes. And that's what, what car were you driving? Yeah. You recorded me at Zab, you were parked yeah. across the street. And I don't even know you. It was just recording. I mean, I have a right okay. to record. You're not against the right to record, right? No, I don't. I don't okay. Well, I'm recording right I know. now. I, I know. I know that. Time. So I need your license, your registration. It's a rental vehicle, clearly. It's a rental vehicle, clearly. What does that mean? It comes back to EAN. Land. So what? So it's a rental vehicle. So what's the point? What do you mean it's a rental so vehicle, I clearly? So license, not the registration, at least the rental agreement, right? What does that matter? Anyway? Call your supervisor, man. I need your license. I want you to call your supervisor. Why are you, why are you, why are you refusing are you to call a supervisor? I don't even have a problem with you, man. Unless, you know what my problem with you is? Number one, you're stopping me. You're accusing me of something I didn't do. I'm on my way to my son's school right here to drop off something before they close. To half a day, everybody's going, you know, home early. You know, my issue with you right now is I've told you several times. How do you spell your last name? I've told you several times How to call a supervisor. I will, as soon as I get back to my vehicle. When you call a supervisor, I will give you my last name. When you explain to me why you stopped me, I don't trust you. I don't know you personally. I want you to call How a supervisor. How many times have I told you I stopped you? I want you to call a supervisor. That means nothing to me. How You're many lying. Times? You're lying. You asked me to explain to you why You're I stopped lying. You. I was not doing 60. You're lying. You're going 60 miles You're lying. in a 35. Pull it. What do you got in there? You got your gun in there? How, how, how do you come to those findings? My gun? No, your uh, radar gun. Yep, radar. Show me the 60. Estimate. Show it to me. There's no video on it. So how you're you're traveling, we were traveling the opposite direction. The Correct. minute you saw me and you ID'd my face, you did a U-turn. Nope. Absolutely. Nope. Call your supervisor. You, you can see what somebody looks like at 60 miles per hour. I don't want to mispronounce your last name because I always wish because people kill my last name because it's Cuban. Sicery? Yeah. Okay, I got it. Call your supervisor officer assistant me, please. You think I have superhuman powers where I can see what somebody looks you like apparently, miles per hour? You apparently do if you're accusing me of going 60. That's the number? I was doing 60? Yes. How did you arrive at that figure? Speed estimation and the radar. How do you arrive at it? I would like you to explain. I just told you. I'd like speed you to estimation. explain to my YouTube viewers how the Brighton Police Department with no electronic device and no radar detection. Is that what you're telling me? Estimated. Not estimated. You said 60. You clocked me at 60. With your eyes? Yeah. With your eyes, you clock me. And the radar. And the Call your supervisor. What's your date of birth, Danny? Call your supervisor. 
What's your date of birth? Call your supervisor. Then step out of the vehicle and come back to that vehicle with me. I don't have to get out of my car. If you're not I want you to call your supervisor. Stopped. I want you to call. Stop doesn't mean nothing. It's your word against mine. What am I being detained for? What am I being detained for? I want you to call your supervisor. I've asked you a million times. Can you please call your supervisor? I've asked you a million times for your name, date of birth. I want you to call your supervisor. Then step out and come back there and identify yourself that way. If you don't want to hand me your license, like you're. I want you. I want you to. Don't assume why I don't want to hand you my license. I want you to call a supervisor, please. I've told you several times, Officer Cicero. You can call him. Just give me your name and date of birth, and you can call him five times if you'd like. Why are you refusing to call the supervisor? You're very familiar how to call a supervisor, correct? All right, Officer Cicero wants to crack jokes, so I'm going to remain silent, which is my right, and I'm going to just record you. don't you. have the right to not identify yourself on a traffic stop, though. Well, you know where it was the minute you approached the car. Now you don't know how to get out of it. I don't understand what you mean. I'll leave it at that. I just need your license. I need you to call the supervisor. What is the difference if a supervisor's here or not? A, I don't trust you. B, you're lying. C, I want a supervisor. Why do you keep I looking in my vehicle, man? There's right, nothing in here illegal. What, what do you keep looking in the back for? That's my son. Stay away from my kids. You hear me? Here we go. This is called you pull over Davey V, and now you don't know how to get out of a lie. When, when I'm with my family, okay, apart from the Davy V and the public image, I'm a father. Mm -hmm. I was not doing 60 miles an hour, like he says, he couldn't prove to me. Mm -hmm. My main issue was with, with Officer Cicero, okay, mm -hmm. other than he's a liar. What do you think about that, that I'm, that I'm saying, that, you're, that your officer's a liar? Well, I've never known him to be a liar. Okay. So obviously you're going to take his side because of the officer. But no, I'm telling I'm not you, taking any sides. Okay, but I'm telling you he's a liar because I was not doing 60 miles an hour. My main issue with him is as follows. Mm -hmm. A few weeks ago, I recorded him. Mm -hmm. Are you familiar with the, with, the, with the stop that I recorded? Uh, well, I know, I, know your, I know your chief watches my channel, so I know you guys come, come across the channel. In front of Zeb's pulling over an African-American woman. Okay? Mm -hmm. Very clear of his mind frame. How easily and readily... He remembered the information that I had recorded him in front of Zeb's. But immediately make the recollection that, yeah, you just recorded me in front of Zeb's. Well, you're not going to forget that. Why? Forget what? It's, so, the, the, so you were a, a person's not going to So that's forget. a memorable thing to be recorded as a police officer. It's memorable? I mean, it's something that's actually... I yeah, mean, I'm not saying it's in the forefront of your mind, right. but... Respecting, that, that, respecting the right to record and everything on the free speech, it's still something that would stay in a police officer's mind. Well, yeah, I would say so. What came from that recording? It I was, mean, I haven't seen it, but I, I've heard right. people talk about it. Right. But it was nothing to the level of where, like, it was a big negative interaction. But it's funny. You say it wasn't. You, you, you say like it wasn't anything out of the out of the, out of this world, right? I agree. It wasn't right or wrong. There was no. There was even no interaction. From what I've gathered, it but was you've just heard a people. But you've heard people talking about it here. Why? That's interesting. Well, because I've heard it other places besides right. here. Right. I mean, you hear interaction. You even see but what you, kind? Can you I press us. you on that? What, what can no. I press you a little bit on that? What, what have you heard? No, that you because you're right. It was officer. right, but you're but it was nothing to nothing to write home about. Routine, right. actually, and you are so right. I'm saying, but, why, but I'm, why would why would somebody why would somebody seek retribution because of that? Right, but why would they be talking about it around here? That's interesting. You just said it. Well, I, yeah, I didn't say it's a long ongoing thing. In passing, hey, it's all, okay, but you well, did refuse to give your ID. I did. Guys, why? I wasn't comfortable. That's why I wanted uh -huh. the supervisor to come. And see, that's kind of the catalyst of it. I didn't feel safe with him. Something about him, and maybe when you see the video, you can kind of take off the, the cop hat for a minute and, and, and maybe, maybe try to empathize. I don't know. I don't know. I did refuse, absolutely. All right. And, and, and in many ways, I'm glad you kind of reminded me that because I got lost in thought here. That's, that's exactly why I wanted a superior there. I'm with my kids, and it's hard to separate the, the, the personal life from the, you know, whatever, the Davy V stuff. I didn't feel safe with him. And the minute I realized who it was, and the minute that he confirmed that he himself knew, yeah, you just recorded me in front of Zeb's, I'm like, oh. But that's a great question. I did refuse. I didn't feel safe around him, and that's why I wanted a supervisor.